Hello everyone, welcome to Gopher Hall. In each episode, we discuss lawn care industry issues. We also talk about different tips and tricks to improve your lawn care business. And Spotlight a Business Owner will hopefully inspire us all. This show's goal is to get you excited about running your business and excited about life. If you haven't started your business yet, what are you waiting for? To paraphrase Warren Miller, if you don't start your business this year, you'll be at least one year older when you do. So get started today. In this episode, we're going to be talking about how to stop customer churn and improve your customer retention, how to assist a member of the military and get some free goodies from us, how can you use high fuel prices as an advantage to gain new customers. The Gopher Hole Toy of the Month is the Dixie Chopper Monster Truck. Check this thing out. We're going to see a new invention that's come in from a lawn care operator and a Gopher Hole viewer. Now let's get to work. In honor of Armed Forces Day, which was May 20th, we wanted to reach out to our viewers and let them know there are ways to help out our soldiers and veterans. One of our friends, Rodman, owner of PNP Lawn Care, has put together a great site, mowingfortroops.org. Visit the site and you will learn a lot more about Project Evergreen. Lawn and landscape maintenance becomes a definite hardship when a family's major breadwinner is on active duty away from the home. Green Care for Troops is designed to show the green industry's concern for the situation, helping affected families maintain their home's green spaces. We would love you to get involved and help an active or retired member of the armed forces. Contact Rodman or simply reach out into your community and see if there are any residents you can assist. Take some pictures and show us what you did. Out of your photo submissions, we'll pick a lawn care operator who went above and beyond to help out a member of the military. And we got some free goodies to give away. We have two magnets for your truck or trailer, size 12 by 24 and 2 to 4 colors, compliments of amw-graphics.com. And we also have a professionally produced lawn care business program consisting of business tools, manuals, startup guidance, bidding and estimating tutorials designed to help you operate a lawn care business. Compliments of our friend Keith from summer101.com. So send in your photos to support at gophersoftware.com and you just may be our winner. Because Because green matters. matters. Porque lo verde es muy importante. To find out how you can help us promote the benefits of green spaces, call toll-free 877-758-4835 or visit projectevergreen.com. Next up, here's a section we call Ask Team Gopher. A question came in from one of our forum members, G-Man. He asked, I'm always getting new customers, but then I lose one. There seems to be a big turnover all the time. Is this how the lawn business is? Just wondering if it's normal or am I doing something wrong? I think that I'm offering my services too cheap for the amount of work that I'm doing for my clients. When I'm there, I'm always doing extra small jobs for every client to improve their yard. And nine times out of ten, I'm not charging them for that. I was talking to another lawn care operator and he was telling me I'm charging way too low. He would charge a lot more than what I'm charging for the average lawn. For answers on how to resolve this, we turned to our friend Troy of Tiedemann LLC. He's a central Michigan provider of environmentally responsible lawn care. Troy said, perhaps you just have the wrong type of customer and it has nothing to do with you. Because of how low your price is, you are attracting the price shoppers. Raise up your prices and don't be disappointed when a customer tells you you're charging too much. Don't expect to land every single account. If you do land every single account, then yes, your prices are definitely too low. Let me throw a couple examples of different phone conversations you might have with a customer. And in the conversations I'm going to have, what you should be saying to the customer. Here's situation one. The phone rings and you answer it. This is G-Man Lawn Care. How may I help you? I am looking for someone to cut my lawn. Are you looking for one cut or a seasonal service? I am just looking for a one-time cut while my mower is serviced. Well, I'm sorry. We do not offer one-time cuts. Sorry I couldn't help you. Conclusion, do not take on one-time mowers. You will gain nothing from it in the long run. All they want is a cheap fix, not a long-term solution. Situation 2. Hello, this is G-Man Lawn Service. How may I help you? How much would it be to mow my lawn? Well, I would have to come out and look at the property first to determine your price. Can't you give me a ballpark over the phone? No, sorry, I cannot. Conclusion, do not take on a customer that wants an estimate over the phone. Now, if they ask you and they would like you to come over and give them an estimate, that's a different story. Situation 3. Hello, this is G-Man Lawn Service. How may I help you? I would like an estimate for lawn maintenance. Now, this is for the entire season, correct? Yes. Great. I will just take down your address so I can meet with you for the estimate and talk to you about the contract. Contract. I am not signing a contract. I'm sorry, but all lawn maintenance accounts are required to sign a contract. Forget it then. Conclusion, why would they want to refuse to sign a contract? 
More than likely, they would not be a good customer and would try to stiff you out of money. Situation 4. Hello, this is G-Man Lawn Service. How may I help you? I need an estimate for lawn maintenance. Not a problem. I would be more than happy to give you an estimate for seasonal weekly mowing. No, I just need it mowed every two weeks. I am sorry, but we only offer weekly mowing services. Conclusion? This weeds out any bi-weekly customer lawns that make it super tall and super thick in which you would waste time and money on in the long run. Thanks, Troy, for the great insights you shared with us. I sure hope our viewers are able to benefit from it. To remind us all that life can't be all work and no play, let's check out the Gopher Hall Toy of the Month. As your business gets bigger and your profits grow, where are you going to spend some of that hard-earned money? Well, here's our suggestion. Check out the Dixie Chopper's Monster Truck. The folks at Dixie Chopper sure know how to have a good time. This not only looks like an absolute blast to drive, it also serves as a marketing tool. It gets the Dixie Chopper name out there to the target audience. I bet you many people who buy Dixie Chopper mowers love monster trucks. I know I do. Now let's listen in to a little, little bit about this. This is a uh, 2006 Chevrolet Silverado body. Uh, we've designed for a Dixie Chopper mower company. It uh, has a 540 cubic inch big block Chevrolet. Uh, we had built about three months ago. It's capable of about 1,800 to 2,000 horsepower, depending on what we set the blower at. Um, it has 26 inches of uh, dropout suspension, eight nitrogen shocks, uh, runs a pro-built turbo 400, 30 inch drop box, turning 600 pounds, 66 inch tall tires, 0 60 in about three seconds. Has no problem clearing school buses, uh, cars, you know, family's continental, or any mower that we put underneath of it. Uh, my brother and me, Kyle here, built it. What a blast. Great job, Dixie Choppers. Okay, so the season has started now, and fuel prices are high. How can you use that as an advantage to gain new customers? Forum member Grounded wrote us with this tip. On your routes that have dead spots, print up a flyer for the neighborhood that could read something like this. Has your current lawn company tried to impose a fuel surcharge? Or have they told you they quit because they can't afford the gas? Keep our number handy. We're local. Here's a flyer we made, and you can download it for free from www.gophergraphics.com. Then click on the link to the flyer designs. Grounded went on to say, with some real effort, this could be a way to get your name out after the seasonal rush has ended. We get calls from drop customers, and they explain that the lawn care operator they had wanted more money because of travel. I've tried this marketing campaign and the feedback has been great. I can understand hiding a fuel charge in the per cost cut, but you can't put a surcharge in a customer's face and expect them to pay it. Thanks for the great tip, Grounded. I certainly hope other lawn care operators are able to use this idea and benefit from it. We're always promoting that you should experiment and explore. This episode of Go For All, we're going to be looking at Dave Long's invention, the Blademate Wrench. Hi, I'm Dave Long, the inventor of the Blademate Wrench. The Blademate Wrench is a special wrench patented for changing the blades on mowers. Check out this product he invented. And then he signed an exclusive deal with Oregon Outdoor Equipment Products to sell his invention. If you have a product you created and would like us to promote it to tens of thousands of our viewers, send us an email at support at gophersoftware.com. Do you need more visitors to your site? Post our show on your forum, blog, or website, and we'll promote it in a future Gopher Hall episode. I'd like to thank Matt's Lawn Care blog for including Gopher Hall on the top of their blog. Also, did you know Gopher Hall audio version is now available through Apple iTunes? To listen to this free podcast, simply load up your iTunes and do a search for Gopher Hall. We're also now on MySpace. Visit us at www.myspace.com slash Team Gopher. If you're on there as well, send us a friend request. Our new free 100-page lawn care business ebook, Be a Lawn Care Business Rebel, is available for download now. Get this book and read it. It's chock full of marketing tips and suggestions, as well as information on how to run your lawn care business. To download, visit www.gophergraphics.com. Lastly, don't recreate the wheel. Use the lawn care business software professional lawn care business owners have been using for the past decade. Gopher Billing and Scheduling Software will help you schedule your jobs and get your bills out on time. You'll be amazed how much easier the right tool can help your business grow. We offer great add-on modules as well, such as the Gopher Palm software and the barcode reader. Did you know that Gopher also links with QuickBooks? With our software currently on sale starting at just $99.95 and a free 30-day trial download, we make it easy for you to take the hassle out of billing and scheduling. Thanks, everyone, for watching the show. Keep learning and keep making your dreams come true. Remember, always to dream it, build it, go for it.